Hello and welcome to another edition of Jason Anthony's Tutorials. In this tutorial I want to teach you a Photoshop tutorial and that is a uh, selective desaturation. What that means is you're going to take an image which is originally in full color, turn the entire background into black and white while keeping the foreground in the color that you want it. For this tutorial I chose a clip from the movie Old School. Well, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the background, take the image, um, right click, hit duplicate layer. We're going to name this black and white. Hit OK. Then you want to go over to image, adjustments, desaturate. Now that takes the entire image and turns it into black and white. There's many, many ways to do this but this is a very quick and productive way to do it. Okay, from there, your next step is going to go over to your eraser brush tool. Then you want to make sure you pick a soft brush. So, you know, this is a hard brush because if you look, the hardness on it is 100%. So we're going to choose one with a soft brush. So, now that we got it, uh, now that we have the eraser tool all set, Next step is basically just erasing whatever part of the image that you want to keep in color. In this case, we're going to keep uh, Frank the Tank from the movie. We're going to keep him in color. So now you just basically uh, just erase. Just make sure to not try to go over the outline of whatever you're trying to keep in the foreground. This isn't going to be perfect, but again, I just want to give you a quick idea on how to do it. Again, there's so many ways to do so many things in Photoshop, but in order to take a, take an image and selectively desaturate it, this seems like the most easiest, quickest, and most productive for the time way to do it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, it didn't turn out that bad. Until next time, this is Jason Anthony's Tutorials, and uh, thanks for viewing.